Obi-Wan Kenobi was a Jedi master, a noble man, and gifted in the ways of the Force. When I met Obi-Wan Kenobi, he was an old man training a very young Luke Skywalker. But through the years, we've seen Obi-Wan grow up. We've seen him be a Padawan. We've seen him become a Jedi master. We've seen him train Anakin Skywalker. In this most recent series called Obi-Wan Kenobi, we saw Obi-Wan now call himself Ben, and he was no longer utilizing his force abilities. And when he came into a confrontation with his once Padawan and friend, Anakin Skywalker, now Darth Vader, he was almost powerless. Darth Vader gave him a good whooping as his force abilities were extremely weak. Well, as the series progressed, we saw Ben come back to becoming Obi-Wan. And in one of the final scenes, he prevails again against Darth Vader. You see, when he wasn't using his abilities, when he was denying who he was, his abilities, his strengths became very weak. But when he accepted who he was and he understood his mission, then his force abilities came back. Our lesson this week deals with spiritual gifts. And no, we're not talking about uh, some TV show or some movie with some mystic force. We're talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You see, our theme text for this week's lesson goes like this. 1 Corinthians 12 4 says, there are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. Now, there's a difference, y'all, between being talented and having spiritual gifts. Talent and ability is something that comes natural. Maybe it's hereditary. Maybe you've worked very hard at something. But a spiritual gift is different. You see, when you become a Christian and enter into a saving relationship with Jesus Christ, he gives you special gifts to help the body of Christ, to help churches grow, to help members become mature in their walk with Jesus. And we have to discover what these gifts are. And so this week, I hope that you will do these three things. Understand that we are unique. And when we accept Christ, we are endowed with gifts, experiences, and talents that God distributes for the common good of his church. Realize that if we don't use our talents and gifts, they will be taken from us. Conversely, the more we use them, they become more evident and we become more effective. Be challenged to reflect and research what your spiritual gifts are and apply them into the different needs of the church and community.